Welcome to Random Reasons. I'm Jules. I'm Sarah. And today we will be talking about Easter eggs and a science experiment from a wonderful science scientist, Kimberly Coleman. <laughs> anyway, please welcome to our stage Anna Coleman. Thank you. Hey Anna, welcome to the show. It's, it's a pleasure to, to have you here. It's a pleasure to let you come. So, tell us about Easter eggs. Well, um, we're all, Easter is a holiday because the resurrection of Christ. Now, I've always had the question and I always was concerned why there's a, why they added a bunny rabbit and eggs. But I'm going a little bit off topic. Um, some Easter eggs are called Pasanki eggs, and they're a traditional egg in, in Ukrainian, Ukrainian, sorry. Um, they have certain drawings on them. Sorry, I had to sneeze. Oh, <gasps> Sorry, they have certain, um, they have certain drawings on them, Bless and you. they look very nice with, and they have to draw them with, a, like, a little needle pen. And then there's just dyed eggs that we do at home, you know. And pastel eggs is when you take a wax crayon, you draw something on it, and you dye it in that, dip it into the little bucket of dye, and the part that you drew on is still white. Um, I have a cold. Yeah. That is, that's very interesting, Miss Coleman. So, um, I have a question. Yes? Why is there an Easter bunny if the bunny gives out eggs? Wouldn't that be an Easter chicken? Sir, you can't ask that. Why not? Because you can't ju you can't question the authority of the Easter bunny. I'm very confused by this. Explain, Doctor. By the way, I forgot to mention, this is the doctor of Easter eggs. You've got to give her props. She, her props. Let's she give repairs her the applause. Easter eggs that are worth millions of dollars. Yeah, let's give her a round of applause. So, I am not positive myself, I, and other many doctor, doctors, professors, have researched the, have researched why bunnies and not chickens. That is a good question. You know, it has been sure. great to have you here. But I'm sorry we're out of time. And I would love it to hear your conclusion about that another time, but right now, it's time for the Saturday. No. It's time to dance. Let's dance. Let's dance. Let's dance and dance. <laughs> Miss Coleman, it's been great to have you here today. I've enjoyed your company. Thank you for Please having come, me. Please come join us again sometime. Yes. Wasn't that just wonderful, Sarah? I learned a lot about Easter eggs. I also learned that... Pasai <laughs> Easter eggs are from Ukrainian. I think what she meant to say was the Ukraine. Now, Sarah, our next guest, Kimberly Coleman, is a scientist. Let's we, welcome our scientist. Not, we're not gonna welcome her. Okay, wait, it. never mind. Don't welcome. She is going to experiment some of the reactions of different chemicals. Please, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Miss. Kimberly Curtis, I mean, Co Kimberly Coleman. <laughs> Hello, Miss Kimberly Clash Coleman. Hello. Clash Curtis. Curtis. <laughs> See you all again. How have you been? Good. Thanks for having so me. So I'm hearing you're engaged. No. Uh, no. That must just be a rumor. Oh, uh, sorry. So, so should we begin with the experience? What are you going to be teaching us today? I'm going to. I'll show you. <sighs> okay. This is also exciting. Okay, so I'd like you to put these gloves on each of you so you don't, you know, burn your flesh. Let me just, let me just take off chemicals. I don't want to chemicalize my jacket. I want you to, whoa, you know, burn your flesh with the chemical without being a loss for your hands. <laughs> my you hands know. are already lost. Okay. What? Where is my? 
One second. You know, most of our guests come prepared. I think I have lost my little plastic. It's in here. Oh, well, who put it in there? Me. That wasn't very bright. So, you know, you're not allowed to touch scientists' cool equipment. You have. This is very okay, so why don't you explain to us the steps of what's going okay, on? So what we're going to do here is we're going to see this little tube thing. You probably can't see it, but it's right here in my hand. Um, we're going to... We're gonna okay, let, me, let me hold this for you. No, no, we're going to put this in here so we can put it in here. We can't... Um, this in so there. we're going to put this in here and put that in there. Okay. Bossy. I guess we want to do it your way. I'm the scientist here! <laughs> Well, obviously, you're a very bad scientist because I learned this experiment in science class when I, know I was what we're young. doing. I think that's good. Of course good. I do. Everybody knows what we're doing. Okay, so explain. You're not explaining to us quite what you were doing. We're going to. We need to stop. Pour that in there. Wait, so you want to put it in the bowl? Put it in the bowl. Oh, yes. We need to be putting this in there. Okay, so. We're going to pour the vinegar into the baking powder and watch the eruption. Oh, dear. Oh, we should do more. Look at the bubbles. Yes, do you see those bubbles, folks? This Let's is do very... some more. Yes, pour, pour some more stuff in there. Let me just... Well, let me not waste the baking soda. And, you know, let's just pour this in here. Hold that, will you? Go ahead, pour it in, Doctor. Uh, I'm working on it. <gasps> oh, my God! <laughs> and look at that beautiful bubbly goodness. See? This is what they do in the movies when they have science experiments. Doctor, I mean, Scientist Kim, it's been great to have you here today. Yes, Miss Curtis, it was a joy. Coleman, Coleman. please Coleman. It was great. Please come um, back again sometime. We would love to have another scientific experiment. Of course. Uh, if you could just clear your area. Yes, give a round of applause. I don't want to see. Well, you, could, you need an exit stage left over there. <laughs> I kind of got stuff all over the place. Miss whatever her name is kind of dumped it all over the place. Now, this has just been a great show today. I know, it really has. I've learned about the paella eggs, eggs from Ukrainian. You know, I think it's very interesting that pastel eggs are waxed eggs. I know. I'm you know, personally, I thought pastel eggs were... Co Lightly colored yeah. eggs. Me too. And I thought wax eggs were waxed eggs. Well, guess you learn something new every day. Yep. Well, thank you for joining us on the Random Reasons talk show. Don't so forget again that next week when we talk about April Fools. And alligator tongues. Be quite delicious, I'm told.